Welcome, I am your host, Trinette Collier-Green, and this is Woman on Fire, where we just sit back, chat, talk about building healthy relationships between self, community, family, friends, and more importantly, with God. And today, I am honored and blessed to have special guest, Diamond Mock. Diamond, welcome, and thank you so much for coming. How are you? Thank you. I'm doing fine. Wonderful. Y'all, she so look like Taraji. She look like Taraji. <laughs> she is so beautiful, y'all. Okay, I'm you. glad to have you. Uh, let's jump right in because we got a lot to talk about. I, a lot to yes. talk about. Tell us who Diamond Mock is mm -hmm. and what is it that you do? Mm -hmm. Well, I am, let me see where to start. <laughs> I am a lot of things. <laughs> um, wear a lot of hats. I am an evangelist. Okay. I am um, a master stylist, uh -huh. 17 years. I'm a massage therapist. Okay. And I am a published author. Right, right. Wow, and a lot most of most importantly, woman of God. There you go, woman of God. <laughs> woman of God, Diamond Mock. Uh, talk about your books and your testimony. I am I'm ready to hear this testimony because mm -hmm. I know it's going to bless not only me, but so many women out there. So take us into your testimony mm -hmm. and your books. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am um, a published author, started writing, uh, writing um, in 2000 and 2009. Okay. I started um, writing in 2009. Okay. I released my first book in 2015. Okay. Um, it's called Just Stand. Okay. It's um, based on my life story. Mm -hmm. So it's my life story and inspiring at the same okay. time. So it's like drama and inspiration. So it's the two um, best of both worlds. And okay. I have three other books. So I have four mm -hmm. books um, already published. Okay. And I have four books that I'm working on now. Really? So, yes. Yeah, so wow. I'm, I'm working on um, those now and they will be definitely be a blessing. Okay. Um, so going into the testimony. Yes. <laughs> um, let me see where to start. <laughs> However, I was um, born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, okay. And I came up in a rough area. Okay. And I ended up um, in a gang. Really? And I'm not only in a gang, but I was the leader of the gang. So I was the one that um, called the shots. So I was like the president, and my one of my sisters was like the um, vice president. And um, really? we had like a lot of members who was very deep as we call um, wow in, in that um time frame we was well known in the area a lot really? of people knew us we was we was kind of dangerous really y'all she don't even <laughs> look like diamond mark like wow really <laughs> yes ma'am okay yes ma'am so um being in the game we did a lot of things um mm -hmm. throughout the city and mm -hmm. um local areas um in the area and um, so you just heard our name everywhere. Mm -hmm, uh, things mm -hmm. always going on. Um, we was um, the lynch mob sweethearts, and mm -hmm. uh, it was a male gang um, okay. in the area called the lynch mob. Okay. And we was the sweethearts, so okay. uh, I think we was better than them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, as time went on, mm -hmm. um, we continued to do crazy things, mm -hmm. whatever this was before Christ. Okay, okay. And, um, so, but what um, changed my life mm -hmm. was at the point of time, it was a point of time where I felt um, God calling, but I did not know, really? um, you know, exactly um, yeah. what was going on with me. Yeah. But I know now that when he called, oh, you have to answer. Yes. So I felt him calling. I started mm. going to church with my friends here So and while there. you were still in the game? Mm -hmm. yes, really? Yes, okay. And so um, I started going to church with my friends, and I started slowly changing. Mm. And my, one of my sisters, that, mm -hmm. that was the um, vice president, she uh, was still, you know, going to certain places that I kind of slowed up going from. Okay. But she was dragging me along because she knew I had to be her bodyguard. <laughs> really? I was, yeah, I was, um, yeah, well, well known in a bad wow. way. Wow. Wow. And so, um, so what really changed my life was. Mm -hmm. A little bit after, I kind of was thought changing, but mm -hmm. I wasn't all the way changed yet. Okay. My okay. Um, fiance at the time, mm -hmm. which is my second son's father, mm -hmm. he got killed. Oh, wow. So he was um, murdered, and okay. he got killed, like, right in front of me in the same room. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Wow. And so and he lived a lifestyle, too. We okay. just lived rough. Okay. And so um, when that just took a lot out of me, mm -hmm. it's like I'm... Um, right here and mm -hmm. he like right there where you at and I'm standing there just looking at him getting gunned down 
And wow. so, yes, ma'am. And it, at that time, I was like five and a half months pregnant with my um, so you son. were Okay, so you were it's still in the game, mm -hmm. pregnant mm -hmm. with your fiance, and you just watched him murder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, murder. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Di we are here with Diamond Mock, um, yeah. a powerful woman of God with a, a powerful testimony. Wow. Okay. Continue. I'm, I'm, I'm in shock. I'm in awe. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So, um, so after that, it's like I just became a zombie. Like, I'm just, yeah. just didn't know what to do. So my mom ended up taking me to a church, a local church, um, sanctified church, um, Pentecostal. Okay. And um, I ended up going. And so, because they was like, you need some help. You need, because mm -hmm. they, they was like, I'll like be sitting there and I'm just in a daze and they'll be calling my name and I'm just like, and so they be like, you need to go see a psychiatrist. You need to go to really? the, no, I needed Jesus. Mm. That's, who, that's who I needed. Right. So um, we end up going um, to church. Okay. And so I end up liking the church and it was a small church mm -hmm. and I end up um, getting saved. I really? gave my life um, over to Christ. Okay, so stop, pause right there. Mm -hmm. How did that play out with being a gang leader mm -hmm. and you giving your life to Christ? That don't mm -hmm. add yeah. up. Yeah. You know. So, yeah, so once I gave my life to Christ, uh -huh. all of that had to go. I, um, mm -hmm. Now, I did not um, become perfect over time. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. It's like a process. Yes. But when, um, when you give your life over and God touch you and change your life, yeah. You change for real. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, he have to do it for some of us. Mm -hmm, he mm -hmm. have to really do it. <laughs> exactly. And he really had to do something with me. Right. Because, um, um, like I said um, earlier, as I spoke with you, um, it was two places that I was on my way to. Mm -hmm. If God wouldn't have came in and changed my life. Mm -hmm. That was, the two places is hell mm -hmm. or jail. Mm -hmm. But those two places was my destination. And wow. I was on a fast train to one of them. Wow. I was on a fast train. Um, so um, so after he um, changed my life, I just mm -hmm. kept going, and I never looked back. And so, um, wow. of course, I haven't been perfect, but yeah. at the same time, I haven't let him go. Right. You know, some people um, change, and they end up backsliding and go yeah. back and start doing things, and then they'll slowly try to get back. And it, none of that. None it, of that. It, that, was, that was the real the deal. Yes, ma'am. That was, that was it. So wow. it was like, cause we was just crazy dangerous. We mm -hmm. we like mm -hmm. went to people's houses. Like if we um, against you uh -huh. and we come before you, mm -hmm. we come into your house and oh, we gonna wow. do. We gonna, so y'all were bold. Yes, and yes, ma'am. Wow. So you know now, <laughs> especially nowadays, you can you can't do nothing like that. Right. People right. will shoot you down before right. you get to the. You know. Right. So we even went on people porches, honey. <laughs> grab them on out. Now you come on out in front of their family and all. So y'all what girl, I'm like, when I think about it, yeah. I'm like, that is just insane. Right. You know, so And like yeah. you said, God had a calling on your life because yes. in between that, you could have been gone mm -hmm. any day. Mm -hmm. And even when my um son's father got killed right in front of me, bullets going in it, bullets just going. That could have been me and right. that could have been it was other people in the room as well. That could have been them. But when Ooh. if God is not calling you in, you're yeah. not coming. You, you have a work to do and he you know, going to um, fulfill what he had for you. But when he right. called you out of this world, you're going, you know, one way or the other. But um, since then, um, I have, he has blessed me to do a lot of um, things to um, be able to be a blessing to others and to be um, just a positive uh, role model. Yeah. You know, I have um, then had um, prayer groups. We all join okay. together and do positive things and um, once a year I do in Birmingham, Alabama, mm -hmm. I do like a um, king and queening um, event, okay. like an um, empowerment event okay. and invite different people and I usually pray about it to get um, yeah. God to lead and, yeah. God, and we invite people in to um, um, speak, to sing, to do different things. My right. mom, um, cater. Okay, we, we okay, okay. It's just, we have a lovely time. It's like, I have it like every July. Okay. So after after um, we have it, uh -huh. it's like everybody ready for the next right, one. So right, right. They're like, you need to have it more than, you know, just yeah. like, now we're going to keep this like um, annually. Right, but we right. We have other things, you know, going on. Wow. But um, I, has, I have been really busy over the years. Okay. Because um, this was, all of this took place back mm. in, um, 2001. Really? March the 2nd, 2001, when um, um, I lost him. Okay, and, okay. Um, and I gave my life over in April, mm -hmm. the next month after. Really? And so I've been going and going since. 
nonstop. So once he grabbed you, that was it. That he was literally it. grabbed you. That was it. And like even now, I say, um, like the um, old people say in the um, old church, uh -huh, house, uh -huh. you can't make me doubt him because I know too much about them. Right. Yeah. So what about the, the, the old neighborhood? Do mm -hmm. it, anyone still, are you still in contact with mm -hmm. any of the um, old gang members or anything mm -hmm. like that? Are you? Um, not really. Okay. Now some of them, like we'll keep contact through Facebook okay. or whatever, okay. but not um, often. Okay. But now some of them come out to the events. Okay. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's good. So they yeah. can start seeing positive. Right. Um, because some of a lot of them have changed. Okay. You know, okay. And um, but some still kind of living their life. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. um, for as some of them age, you know, sometimes yeah. you start getting a certain age, and you'll kind of change anyway. Yeah. But yeah. So some of them changing. Um. But yeah, they they come on down and um support a lot wow. of them. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. And they always we proud of you and yeah. this, you know this and that. And so my, back home. When I, cause I um ended up moving away. Okay. So okay. when my um one my sister uh -huh. the one that was the vice, uh -huh. she said um people used to ask about me, you know, um, right. Um, when I moved away, and she's like, "Oh yeah, you know she's um she's a preacher now," and they'd be like, "She love to call me and uh, tell me their um, expressions." Right. And we just laugh and laugh. She because said, nobody could believe it. Yeah. They're like, "Wait a minute, let me sit down." <laughs> Who you said? Okay. Right. <laughs> Now, tell me, was that shocking to you? Was it shocking that he pulled you so quickly and, and, and saved you? Was that a shocker to you? Or how did you take that experience? Mm -hmm. You know? It was, it was a little so-so okay. um, for his being a shocker. But it was like, it did happen so fast. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, um, still like, like a process yeah but i can't say that it was a shocker i can't okay. say because okay. like um throughout the years i just look back mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um and look at all things and i'm like and it's like amazing yeah i'm like wow i just can't believe you know yeah so um yeah it was i can't say it was a yeah. shocker. yeah now what led you um because what led you into the gang life be, and i asked that question because um i work with youth and it's in mm -hmm. in it's always a child that's searching for something. Was mm -hmm. it you searching for something, or what? Mm -hmm. Let talk, talk to us about mm -hmm. what led you into that mm -hmm. that life. I think um, it was more of a product of my environment. Okay. And um, and just being bored. Mm. Like I until I have two sons, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. tell them you have to stay productive. You have to stay doing things, you know, yes. you need to go to school if you want to get a, a part-time job, that will help, but right. you need to stay productive, productive right. and if you can be productive with positive things, that mm -hmm. helps, because I remember even um, back then as a child, <coughs> I'm in the um, community that mm -hmm. I was in, in the center, mm -hmm. people used to come out to do like different positive mm -hmm. events, and mm -hmm. we'll join in with them, and I remember that they was like, um, having a, a positive effect on, okay. Us, okay. on me, I know for sure, okay. as a child. So right. um, I think it's a product of the environment. If okay. you um, surround yourself with more positivity and, yeah. and you know, and be a part of positive yeah. things, then you will be a better person. But when wow. you're just around negativity and you mm -hmm. know just craziness, then um, this would you know how you're gonna end up. So I always say it's so important um, that we raise our kids in a better environment. Right. Like, you know, sometimes you can't go to the top because you, right. you know, right. some people right. can't afford to. Right. But you, we all need to search for a decent area. Right. Because if, if you go um, strictly to certain areas which mm -hmm. is infested with um, crime and mm -hmm. um, negativity, then there's a strong possibility that they will end up right. going that way. Wow. So do you ever go back to your old neighborhood mm -hmm. and... and Talk to the youth there, or mm -hmm. I, I um, have it. Okay. Um, but it is on my vision list. Okay. To do. Okay. And they get ready. Matter of fact, they get ready to tear down the area and build and rebuild. Okay. But it's definitely on my to do list. And yeah. um, matter of fact, I talked with one of the women in the Queening um, uh -huh. Sisterhood uh -huh. group, uh -huh. um, and she's uh, from the area too. And okay. she mentioned that you know going back and. Um, doing things, giving back, which it, it, I've been wanting to do for a right. while now. Yeah, yeah. So oh, one wow. of my, not too far from the area, um, one of my um, friends, she um, having a um, back to school event okay. where you okay. know she'll be giving away this and that, this and that. So yeah. I um, was able to donate to that, and I told okay. her I'd be 
come in to donate my time as well. Wow. So yeah. giving back to the community, that mm -hmm. is a plus and, mm -hmm. and a blessing mm -hmm. because, again, other young girls can look up to you and say, hey, wait mm -hmm. a minute. She was once like me and mm -hmm. look at her now. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times we look for entertainers. We look for big people to come back to their neighbors, neighborhoods and to make a difference. But mm -hmm. here it is. Once a gang leader, not just a gang member, but a gang mm -hmm. leader making a huge impact on mm -hmm. on young girls. Mm -hmm. Wow, such and amazing. Even here in Georgia, yeah. um, we, um, me and some of my um, friends, we will go and, don and donate our time okay. to um to feed the homeless events yeah. like some organization have events where they feed yeah. the homeless and um this particular organization they was having events once a month on okay. a sunday okay. and then we was able to go out and do hair okay so doing hair um barbara's was out there they was um feeding giving okay. away clothes and it was like a huge thing the right. radio um station was out they had like a live dj and okay. it was like a big festival or something right. it was very nice so i always go and donate time and just do hair just, and, and um, wow. yeah, give back and do makeup you know so oh you just an entrepreneur all over mm -hmm. you just all these <laughs> gifts that god has given you like you yeah. know now let me ask you um growing up before well while you were in your in, in the gang or whatnot did you ever just stop and wonder like i can be doing something else or was it that you were just um wanted to continue that life but you because you mm -hmm. said that God you you knew the calling mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. most people don't know that calling mm -hmm. I know it took me a long time but mm -hmm. you're saying that you knew automatically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I knew throughout that time I mm -hmm. knew it was something different about me okay and um because um I always had a heart like a big heart okay that's why even like being in the game when it was time to do certain things I step up and do certain things sometimes, but sometimes I have somebody else to do it because I'm like, okay, right, you do you do that, you right, know? right. But so it was it was still that good in yeah, there, yeah, okay. And I used to um, find myself um, like early on. I it was so strange because I um, in the household I grew up in it wasn't um, Christ wasn't pushed okay. on us. You know, we used to go to church every now and then with friends across the street, but for us in the household. Okay, like that wasn't the, the foundation. Mm -mm. Oh, but okay. I used to like um, around, I say fifth grade, mm -hmm. I used to wake up and just sit up in a wonder and look at the wonder up at the sky and the stars and just start praying for the world. Really? So I'm like. And with no foundation of uh, God in the house. Uh, and that's mm. what I, you know, like even when I got older, I'm like. Now, how, how is this little child in the wonder right. praying for the whole world? Not so just he the actually house. called you back then. Yes. Wow. Yes. Not just the household, but you praying for the whole world. It's so God to just bless everybody in the world, Lord. Don't let nothing bad happen to nobody tonight. Yeah. And that was like, I, and every night I used to pray, and that was I used to pray almost the same prayer. Really. I'm like, you know, that was straight. So I started yeah. seeing, you know, how God bring to your mind and start mm -hmm. showing you. Oh, I can't, I've been had my hand on your store showing you different things right. that you have done. And so that was one. I was like, that is the strangest thing, you know. So this little girl praying, but then your life turned, t took a turn, mm -hmm. went into the gang life, it got saved. Mm -hmm. It took a t another turn, got saved, mm -hmm. and here you are evangelizing. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Talk about that. How is, how is that? How? It, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I, um, years, a couple of years back, I told my mom, um, it because I um, had spoke at a um, event mm -hmm. and she was just I'm proud of you. You did a good job. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. And I said, when I'm doing the will of God, that's when I'm at my happiest. Mm -hmm. And I am. Okay. But um, I never forget. I was around 25. I say mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. had went. Um, we had a prayer group. It was called mm -hmm. Women in Prayer. Okay. And we had went to a group home to serve the girls mm -hmm. from the ages of 15 to 18. Okay. And so we was able to talk to them, share the good mm -hmm. news with them, encourage them, and then mm -hmm. we was able to um, make them over. We told mm -hmm. them, make sure your hair already clean and right, ready to go. Right, right. So I was able to trim some of them in okay. and do the hair and this and that. And we had somebody to polish their fingernails. Yeah. But when we went, when we uh -huh. first got there, they was like at each other. Just they okay. were so mean to each other. This yeah. Minute. So we was like, no, no, calm down, uh -huh. you know, this man. And we started sharing. But we made sure that we got, got over the encouragement before we started mm. the, you know, hands on. Makeover. Okay, okay. So, so they had, you know, they was ready to get to that part. Right. Listen, sit down, listen. Y'all want to get to this part. You right. You got to get past this part. <laughs> so we just talked to them, this man. And it was like me. We had to stop them from fussing. Mm -hmm. So we end up to the second part. We're making them over, this and that, this and that. 
So when we got finished, we took uh, pictures and uh, we was hugging, showing love. Honey, they were so happy. They really? was, it was like they had to won a million dollars. Oh. I was like, and so what was amazing to me, I'm like, looking at them, how they was acting when we first got right, there. And then right. when we was, you know, um, ending it, they was hugging each other, hugging us, and they was wow. just so happy. And they, they was like totally different people. Really? And, and for us to be able to help somebody, just make somebody feel better, right, and right. see that it really was effective, Yeah, I was just blown away. When I left there, uh -huh, I, uh -huh. shared, I shared tears going all the way home. I, I was know like, you did. I love, I'm watering up now. <laughs> I know you did, because it is a blessing when like, you can just work within God's, you know, yes. you know that you're here for with a purpose. Mm -hmm, and when mm -hmm. you can see other people share mm -hmm. the same love and mm -hmm. you just put that, yeah. Yes, and one of the girls that um, was with us, that mm -hmm. helped us, she worked there and okay. she went to church with us. Okay. So she brought to church the, um, the following Sunday, um, she brought me just a stack of thank you cards. Mm -hmm. So they handmade thank you cards and everything. Oh. And they wrote some beautiful messages in there. I was like, I was <laughs> I out done. I think I probably still have the cards, honey. That oh, was, wow. <laughs> that was uh, 15 years ago. And I still, I think I still have those cards. But that was just, just That kept you going. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that kingdom building. Mm -hmm. Kingdom building. Wow. Yes. And I know they'll always remember that. Yeah. Because I will. Yeah. That was, that was amazing. Wow. Yeah. Tell us about your books. Mm -hmm. You have. You said you have four books and four more on the mm -hmm. way. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yes, ma'am. One of them, um, The Beauty of Fasting. Hold, you can hold it up. Uh -huh. We want to see this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, The Beauty of Fasting. Mm -hmm. And this book here is almost like a journal. Okay. So, it was, um, I did a liquid fast for 40 days. Ooh, and wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I've been in church and been yeah. in crack. You know, we did those fasts. You a forty day liquid fast. A forty day liquid fast. So that I did, is like, discipline. Soups. The soups was more soup. It had it didn't have like vegetables. Right. And, you know, it was more soupy soup. Right. And, um, like did like juices and um. But I was able. I was able to get some ice cream in. Yeah. <laughs> So that was this, and then um, each day you have a scripture, okay. and then they have um, a little um, insight on the revelation that God gave me each mm -hmm, day, mm -hmm. and then I just talked about what I did um, throughout the day or whatever, but it's mm -hmm. real nice. So, um, and usually people be caught, because sometimes God will call you um, to a place, or you'll be feeling to... Um, feeling to fast or for a certain reason. Yeah. And so it's very inspiring. Usually people grab it up, you know, when they yeah. you know, have a call. But this 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 really not one of the first books like, oh yeah, let me get this. You right. Know? But it's you know, everybody on different levels. Because when it's fasting, I the last and that's confirmation, I mm -hmm. need to get go back into because again when you're fasting, I know that brings you closer to mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And it's like he reveals so much mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. Usually by that my third day, I'm like, okay, I I, I can't do it yeah, no more because yeah. it's like God reveals so much. Yeah. So mm -hmm. forty days, forty days. So it's and it's different. It's different ways. You know, yeah. fast. Also, some yeah. people, some people really believe you ain't fasting until you just have water yeah. or nothing. Yeah. That's not true. Right, you know, right, you, right. Now one of my favorites today in your fast. Yeah, yeah. Like the best of both worlds. Yeah, spiritual and help you. You know, naturally. Yeah. So it's different ways to fast. But he and um, I was inspired to do this book because I read a letter from um, New um, Zealand. No. She was from, I forgot, it was uh -huh. another um, country she okay. was from, but she had a book, something like this, where okay. she didn't fast, and she made it like a diary. Um, okay, like, okay. I think, you know, I felt needed yeah, to do that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that, and this the beauty one here is the beauty of faith. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And so um, this book here is just a lot of encouraging you know, to um, uplift you, build, right. you know, build you up. So, and I love um, rainbows. Rainbows mm -hmm. is my favorite yeah. a sign from God. Exactly. I like that. Exactly. And so usually when he put in my spirit to write mm -hmm. a book, mm -hmm. he showed me the book cover too. So mm -hmm. like even um, with this, I contact my friend. I say, I see a book cover. I said, I just need a picture of a sky, a rainbow, and a dove. And that's mm -hmm. it. And so he done it. I said, that's it. You know, wow, so yeah. God usually um, lead me to the book covers. And I usually do simple. Okay. But this one here, um, my friend, friend he um done this and he created this himself so when he done it i'm like mm, mm. but it's, it's nice himself. though i let him um create it and he got like different um words in there inspiring okay words. okay but it's embracing saved and single and this book here we um call it the um the life changing book okay it okay is very inspiring wow. and so it's about 75 percent of it for singles okay but okay a little bit about marriage and yeah, relationships yeah a little encouraging for them but it is definitely 
um, inspiring. Like um, one poet said, um, um, what is that? Marriage is not um, a cure and singleness is not a disease. Right, exactly, <laughs> so exactly. This is, this is real nice. It's real right. nice. And of I course, like a it. lot of us, you know, nowadays single and we need a little encouragement. Right, but especially this, in this world. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes. So this is the first book. This okay. Is just saying of my life story. Okay. And so it tells, you know, about the gang and all of that and um, my fiance getting murdered. So mm -hmm. this is like the first 30 years. And so, okay. of course, I, it could have been way more than this, right. however, <laughs> but it, it's, it's very good. Um, um, people always say, they say, I was, I couldn't, um, after I read it, I uh -huh. couldn't um, make it to work the next day, or I was late getting to work, or, right, because right. they, like, when they start reading it at yeah. night, they can't put it down until they right. finish it. So I usually tell people, when you get ready to read this, make sure that you um able to finish it. right yeah. right wow. yeah so and these are my other four projects i'm working on 10 keys to a woman's heart mm. and so it's help the men okay Some okay raise so, you know right so they yeah. need a little help with us the strength of a queen mm. and um diamonds uh, morning inspiration Okay. Yeah, so this would be like a devotion. And last but not least, blessed beyond measure. Mm. Discovering the real treasures of life. So wow. that is it. <laughs> wow. From yeah. gang leader to published author. Yeah. Do you ever just sit back and be like, this is me. Yeah. This is me. All this, all it, this. it took a minute for my friends to like, do you know you're a published author? Right. And I'm like. I am, Hannah. It's like I was on book. I was on book number three before it really just hit me. Yeah, you was really. Uh, I'm like, I am. <laughs> like that's me. Like when you see your name, yeah, yeah. that is amazing. Diamond yeah. mock, you guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, you can see the blessing. Like mm -hmm. you could just see your smile, your spirit, mm -hmm. all of this. Tell the audience how we can connect with you mm -hmm. and and and. Just connect, get mm -hmm. in touch with you. Tell yes, us how you can. I am on um, Facebook and Instagram under um, Diamond Author Page, and also um, Diamond Mark on Facebook and Instagram. And my um, website is getting worked on as okay. we speak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But definitely Instagram and Facebook and um, Amazon.com. Okay. Well. Okay. Wonderful. What would be that nugget that that those few words that you want to tell women out there who are experiencing trials and tribulations or who may still be in gangs and they they want to get out, what would be your message to them? Mm -hmm. Overall, what would be your message? I would say to them, there is a rainbow at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the, mm -hmm. of the cloud. Hold on, have faith, and most of all, get a um, relationship with God mm -hmm. because he mm -hmm. is our rock and he's our strength and he will bring you through whatever. And you will, some people think you will just be bored and this mm -hmm. and that, this and that. No, it's a real, a wonderful life. You won't right. be perfect, but you know, you will have a wonderful life. So the main thing is get a connection with God because mm -hmm. outside of him is nothing. Right. But with him, everything, you can do all things. All things. Yes, ma'am. So he is the key. Seek wow. ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added. Wow. Everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Yes, ma'am. Wow. You have truly, truly blessed my soul mm -hmm. today. I, I just been blessed all day. Like it's just confirmation after confirmation. And mm -hmm. I thank you so much for being here. I thank you for accepting a call, the commitment, yes, you know, for this movement. Because again, it's a platform that I just want women to know that mm -hmm. we're here. And like you said, God's women, God, we're his daughters. Yes, ma'am. You know, and he want us to he want us to enjoy mm -hmm. this life. You and know. Thank you for doing this and thank, thank you for being a light. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, because oh. we definitely need yeah. We need um, more people, um, more women to step forward yeah. and lead, you know, yeah. and lead the way. Yes, ma'am. So thank you so much thank for answering the call. Look, look <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Diamond Mock, you guys, um, here today, a woman, a true woman on fire, um, entrepreneur, Arthur. I mean, the projects, you know, connect with her and is always connect with me. Stay Stay connected. Um, all social media, Trinette L. Collier. Uh, the website, I am Trinette L. Collier .com. And as always, live, love, and laugh. And every day that you wake, every single day, I cannot stress that enough, it's a new beginning. And know that God loves you and he's, 
it's just a new beginning. Let's let's live. You have one life to live. Live it, enjoy it, and just be just be thankful and, and, and grateful, you know. So until next time, I thank you again and uh, I can't wait to see you all again. Till next time, love you. Bye bye. Thank you.